So it's been a while since I posted a beauty video to this YouTube channel. It's basically become a K-pop fan channel. And I decided to mix it up. I decided it's time to bring back some good old fashioned beauty content to my channel uh, because I don't think I've posted a video that was beauty related for like 10 months on this channel. And what better way to do so than to do an end of the year favorites of 2021. So because my channel has kind of evolved a little bit, I decided I can't just do beauty products. So I decided to include some of my favorite K-pop items that have come into my collection this year. Well, I started my K-pop collection in 2021. Um, but some of my favorite items. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I've got 15 beauty products and then at the end, I'm gonna jump into my K-pop favorites. I just have a handful of those. Um, let's just do it. I haven't done one of these for so long. This is really fun. Here we go in no particular order. I did not rank these products in any way. These are just my favorites. These are all items that if I ran out of these, I would run out and buy a new one as soon as I could. Starting off, I'm just starting, first thing I'm seeing, first thing I'm grabbing, Sunday Riley A plus right here, okay. Yes, we all know you need some retinol in your skincare routine. We all know there are a lot of really great retinol products out there, but none measures up to the Sunday Riley one. And I will tell you why is because there is so much goddamn retinol in this product. It's so hard to find other retinol products that have this much retinol in it. So I love this so much. This is my second bottle. I'm towards the bitter end, which is really annoying because Sunday Riley products are not cheap, but well worth it. If you are not using retinol in your skincare routine, you need to get some ASAP. And of course, start little by little. Do not use it every single night. Start like one day a week and slowly work your way up. Love it, love it, love it. In conjunction with this, when I use this at night, on top of it, I don't put a cream, base cream. I put oil and I rediscovered Josie Marin Argan Oil this year. I think my friend Lauren got me this for Christmas or my birthday last year. Or maybe she got me a small one. I can't remember, but this is my second bottle I've been through this year and I just love it. I used this years ago. I really, really liked, like, liked it a lot for a really long time. And I feel like it's just gone out of style, sort of. It's not very like popular anymore. It's not, so you never see YouTubers talk about this <laughs> anymore, like literally ever. No beauty influencer even mentions this product, but it's just great. It's the best argan oil out there. It's pricey for sure, but I love it. And I've used it so much this year and I've just enjoyed it so, so freaking much. Okay, next up, this is not a new item in my life. This is Duo Brush On Adhesive, Lash Adhesive. Okay, I've used Duo for years. I've been wearing fake lashes for 15 years, okay? However, I used to always just get the squeeze tube and the one that was dark. Like, I was like, that was like, holy grail. I've tried like so many. I used that specifically only for forever for so 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 long and then somewhere like last year or something I saw a video of somebody where they just like painted this onto their eyeliner and then just like plopped the lash on like game changer game changer so this is how I've been um applying my lashes but I've also started using this when I do like little sequins not sequins Little like gemstones, what do you call them? Rhinestones, whatever. I'll do like little ones in a corner. I'll do some like up here and stuff like that. I used to always use spirit gum for that. And I started using this because I didn't have any spirit gum with me one time. And this worked great too. Duh, like duh, this is so obvious, but whatever. This specifically, this style, also the clear style. I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'll go back to using the dark, like the one that dries dark anymore especially like today I've got like quite a colorful like eyeliner going if I was wearing the dark duo like it would mush and blend and like ruin my beautiful colorful eyeliner so I absolutely absolutely love this okay next up this is such a gorgeous highlighter this is from Kaleidos Beauty this is Space Age this is their like really like high impact like highlighter oh my god it's so gold and gorgeous and beautiful oh my gosh I want all of them here's the I have one other one of these but here's the thing they have a lot of like strange like colored ones which I have actually a lot of weird color highlighters those tend to be like my favorite ones I always like gravitate towards those ones with that have like a little hint of like green in them or a little hint of blue or something like that this one I think is the most wearable of like that variety of kind of like out of the box highlighters um I absolutely love this I reach for this so 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 often the few trips I've been on this past year I've taken this with me 
love it so 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 much next up i have a blush oh my gosh okay i love mac blushes so 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 much this is called peach twist the thing i love about this it is just one of those like one and done like you don't need a highlighter it's like a shimmery blush it's a terracotta blush with a little bit of like a greenish gold shimmer kind of mixed in and i think what i really really like about this is it is very reminiscent of nars orgasm but it's like a more mature relaxed more serious version of nars orgasm and i just love it so 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 much um it's one of those ones where like honestly i don't think i when i first bought it the only reason i okay let me say let me go back the reason i have this is because I just love MAC blushes. I got this like weird nostalgia for MAC like last year, I think. And I just bought like a ton of MAC products. I don't know what it was, but this was one of those like, I was just like, yeah, I'll take this blush, I'll take that blush, I'll take that blush. And because I feel like blush is really hard to pick out by like swatches or just by looking at. And you need to really like take it home and try it and like work it and see if it like works well in like the winter on you or in the summer on you stuff like that I don't know whatever what, what I'm trying to say is I probably wouldn't have picked this out normally but I love it I'm so glad that I did because it's become my favorite blush this year like completely oh my gosh I have another cut Lidos um item this is the what is this called this is Futurism 5 Lunar Lavender this is one of their eyeshadow palettes this is my only eyeshadow palette no this is my second eyeshadow palette that I have from them this is the purple I don't know if they still sell this honestly if they don't they should because I love this palette so much like I especially like I bought this palette for the purples obviously but these oh my god no all of them maybe not the dark purple I probably don't use that one so much but this purple and this purple are just like absolute heaven I love them so 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 freaking much if you like purple and like lilac and lavender eyeshadows you need this palette if you haven't tried anything from Kaleidos you should try them they're really really great I'm actually wearing one of their liquid lipsticks right now too um I love this palette so much I love the packaging all of their packaging is gorgeous they they have the most gorgeous packaging like absolutely um next up sorry it's dirty i forgot to clean it this is a wet and wild little twin stars collab makeup brush it's just a basic blender eyeshadow blush it's uh so cute come on how adorable is that uh i just like love it and it was i don't know like four dollars or something i just i don't know i feel like in a world of crazy makeup brush sets and like this is the only makeup brush you need if you can have two you need where's the other one this is not another of course I can't find it why why is it like this why is it always like that whatever okay what I'm trying to say is if you can only have one eyeshadow brush in your collection this is the style that you want to have I just love this style so 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 much it's so cute it's a little twin stars themed I just love it it's just I had it not that long honestly but it's just become one of those things where I love it I'm really glad I have it in my collection it brings me joy okay um next up I have a foundation this is the NARS soft matte complete foundation and this is a gorgeous foundation I actually have it in another color oh look I actually found it um I right now I have to mix them because I'm kind of like in between these like shades this is such a nice foundation it is very easy to blend it looks great it's like maximum coverage it comes in so many shades and I just freaking love it so 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 much I'm so glad I just I, I I did I get this last year I could have I don't remember but I've really fallen in love with it this year that is what I'm trying to say and the reason I fell in love with it it's sort of a weird way because I already knew I loved it like when I first bought it and I ended up buying like another color I think I bought this like in the winter and I got this one like in the summer or something but the reason I really fell in love with it was I had taken like other foundations with me on some like trips or some overnights and stuff like that and while I was using those other foundations I liked them but I wanted to get back home to these and then I would come home and then like only use these so yeah I didn't take these with me on my California trip and I was gone I was gone for like a month or something or more on my California trip to visit my mom 
and to go to the BTS concert. Um, and I didn't take it with me. It was so stupid. And I missed it like the whole time I was gone. Just like the whole time. So anyways, yeah, absolutely love these. Next up, another base product is the Dose of Colors Concealer. Like this is, sorry, the color looks really wonka-doodle right now because it's basically, it's like empty right here and there's like product up here because I've been like trying to mess with it. It's almost out. I need to get a new one. This is medium tan, shade 17. This is too dark for me right now, so I need to get a lighter shade for winter, but it is just like so freaking full coverage. It doesn't make your eyes look dry underneath. It lasts all freaking day. I love it. This has become my favorite concealer for sure for 2021. Need to get a new one. It's all, it's basically out. It's basically out. Okay, next up. This is like oldie but a goodie. I love this. This is a Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. It's just a bronzer. I don't know. There's nothing special about it, but for me, and this, this product looks good on me. Winter, summer, spring, fall. It does not matter how tan or pale I am. This looks great. It smells like chocolate. I just love this stuff so much. This is one of those things where like, I try to like use other products that I have like other bronzers and I always gravitate to this if I want to look like extra cute or like extra adorable whatever when I want to look really really good this is the one I go for so you know it's your favorite when you think about it like that but I love that one so much okay another favorite oh my gosh I love this so much this is the Maybelline lifter gloss with the hyaluronic acid in it this is in shade moon I think I also have it in topaz but I couldn't find that one I love this so much I think many 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 people many of us like kind of gave up on lipstick a little bit through the pandemic and stuff like that because you're wearing masks and also you don't take your mask off um and then if you do go somewhere where you take your mask off at some point you don't want to have like a bright red lipstick on underneath smudging all over the place and getting all over your mask so I really became like a lip gloss wearer which I haven't been a lip gloss wearer for a really long time um but I absolutely love these so yeah I always keep one of these in my purse and I just pull them. they're just like easy to throw on they feel great on your lips they don't make your lips feel sticky or tacky or anything like that absolutely love these um if you haven't tried them they have so many shades honestly I feel like anybody could wear any of the shades because they're not very pigmented either um like at all at all where am I putting this that looks way more pigmented it's more like that yeah it's just a little bit of color but you know what I freaking love it and I don't know so I go back and forth I'm like should I buy more of these because I love it so much but I've decided like ah, eh, they're kind of all the same-ish looking I think I'll just wait until I actually like run out of one before I buy another one okay next up I'm pretty sure I put this in a favorites video that was like a year ago or something like that right here this is the lip liner in posh spice from Jeffree Star Cosmetics I do not use this as a lip liner you could if you wanted to I actually use this as an eyebrow pencil and it's the perfect color for me it slides on so smoothly because it's a lip liner. I freaking love this. I bought a whole bunch of these. I think I've done that twice now. I go through, I actually go through eyebrow products like quite quickly. Um, I just freaking love it like so, so, so much. It's a great color. I don't know if they have colors that would match for like other people, but for me being a natural redhead, it is really hard to find eyebrow products that are the right shade for me. I'm actually not wearing this today. I'm wearing a blonde and it's just a little bit too blonde and yellow and this is the perfect shade um yeah I just love this so much so 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 much okay next up what do I have oh my gosh okay I really do love this I actually did run out of it and I went out and bought a brand new one as soon as I could uh this is the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops this is an amazing product I believe I actually started using this like last year maybe it is so lovely you just put a couple drops of this into your serum on your face in the morning or at night where I usually do it in the morning actually um because I don't want it to like mess around like I use like more intense like skincare in the evenings usually I don't want it to like mess around with that I, so that's why I usually use it in the morning um yeah you just put a couple drops in and it's just like a self tanner it keeps your face a little bit tan and I think that that really helps for me because I can get real pale sometimes and I don't like to always tan like my entire body I usually faux tan my whole body in the like spring summery time of the year but I also still like to have a little bit of a glow and this is really great really awesome it does have a little bit of a smell to it just like all tanning products do but you get used to it super freaking fast and it's so nice and doesn't do anything wacky to your skin um and here's a tip it comes in light medium and dark 
I'm so pale, I should use light, but you're supposed to use like 10 drops of light or you can get medium and use like two to four drops and it lasts longer. There you go, tip, life hack right there. Okay, I've got two more products in the beauty category. This is the most amazing smelling body wash ever. This is Yagnog from Lush. I love it so much. It's part of their holiday collection. It smells so weird honestly in the bottle but once you get it going in your loofah in the shower oh my god it smells so good i'm including this in here i've had this one since november like mid-november but i had this also like last christmas and i bought a big one of it last christmas too i think or maybe i had a little one i can't remember and i absolutely loved it and adored it so when this christmas that was the first year i used it so when this christmas rolled around or maybe it was the christmas before does anybody else think 2020 and 21 have blurred together am i the the i was one millionth person to say that whatever i absolutely love it um i think i think that i bought this size because i was in california when i bought it and i didn't want to buy the big big one and like bring it back with me like in my suitcase i don't know why. i was like that'd be real bummer that thing busts open on the flight home because like less shower just can get pricey i think this size is like 30. like the big one is like 50 something like that's a lot for a shower gel to burst in your suitcase you know what i mean but i feel like next christmas i will definitely buy the, even the bigger one i really really like this a lot um okay last beauty product i have i actually only have the conditioner this is the nexus hydrolyte um i usually buy this in the set with the shampoo and the conditioner but i always run out of shampoo first so i always keep the conditioners kind of like left over and then i use them up like here and there i currently have a different version of a Nexus shampoo and conditioner going in the shower. It's in the dark green tube. I don't like that one. Like at all. I would not repurchase that. But this one I have repurchased many, many times through 2021 and I absolutely love it. This has become my favorite shampoo and conditioner to use. It just is a very simple, nice, it's hydrating, but it's not, it doesn't weigh your hair down. I have really thick hair. I have a lot of it, but I get it thinned out. But I still kind of look for a little bit of, even though I get my hair thinned out, I still want it to be able, like some volume in it. I know, I know I'm a walking contradiction, I'm aware. I know I'm complicated, okay? Um, anyways, I absolutely love this. I would put this in like top five shampoo and conditioners like of all time for me. Um, like my hair right now looks dry as a bone. I think it's that other Nexus one. I don't like it. What is the other one called? I don't know, it's in the dark green tube. Don't buy that one, buy this one. It's the baby blue one. They sell this in a box set at Target. That's where I've been buying it. I think for both, I think it's like 30 bucks. Absolutely love it. I should probably just go get this and throw out the green because I feel like my hair's been looking trash since I've been using it. I posted this reel the other day where I was looking really cute um, on my Instagram. And my hair, I keep look, <laughs> I keep going back and watching it because I'm like, oh my God, my hair looks so dry. And I, it's that other one. Yeah, no, that one's going. I'm gonna go get another one of these. Okay, so that is it for my beauty favorites for 2021. And now let's get into my K-pop favorites for 2021 in no particular order. Okay, I was going back and forth. I was trying to pick my favorite album of 2021. It was really hard. Like, it was really hard to pick a favorite album, mostly between two. My third place, which I actually didn't pull up, it's, it's over there. It's The Bad Love from Key. That, it's like a mini album. I love it. I love the packaging like so freaking much. I should have like included it. It's just like right over there. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, the packaging is so dope and the album is so like, I love the Key Bad Love album so freaking much, but my top two I couldn't decide between. Well, they're both for Monster X. It was The Dreaming versus No Limit. I loved both of these so much. Like they were such good albums. Okay, so No Limit came out first. Um, I don't know which version I grabbed. Oh. <laughs> my handsome men um love this so much such a good album i love the title track rush hour juhani wrote it and arranged it and he just did such a good job oh my god loved it so much and then the dreaming is a full album i think that's why i couldn't pick because this is a full album also it's in english that's in uh korean with some english mixed in so they're just like different they're different vibes right one's a mini album one's a full album like they're different but I absolutely love The Dreaming like so much too. I think I listen to The Dreaming more than I've listened to No Limit. So maybe this is my favorite one. I don't know. Let me just show you my favorite page. Like it's going to be a surprise to anybody. My favorite page of the photo book is right here. I just love him so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love him. 
love Jumani. Okay, so anyway, so those are my favorite albums. Those are my top three favorite albums. Another really amazing item for K-pop stuff that I got this year is obviously, not obviously, it is the, what is this, the Blu-ray, the Map of the Soul 1 concert. The concert was like October, I think, 2020. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of, I've seen day two, like all the way through, like bootleg on YouTube. And then I've seen bits and pieces all put together and they find, and then they put out all of it and the making of, I love it so much. I love online concerts. I love watching like DVDs of like produced concerts, like live concerts too. So this sort of thing is like really, really awesome to me. So I absolutely love it. The inclusions are like, okay, they're all right. You get like postcards and then um you get a photo card i got rm in this um like the random photo card which is really cute but the extra inclusion it's not as like extensive as you know maybe like some other stuff that they release but just like the actual like the dvd of the concert i absolutely love i also i didn't pull it out i also love the mx university concert one and that one came with a lot of inclusions actually i should have included that it's again it's just like right over there we don't feel like grabbing it um, okay, a couple other items that I wanted to show. So this did not come out in 2021, but I acquired it in 2021. I believe this came out in 2019, but again, I acquired this in 2021. So I'm including it in my favorites and this is my favorite. I've gone through my collection and I believe that this is my favorite photo card of my whole K-pop collection. And this is the Juhani Follow Kino. This is my emotional support photo card. I keep this next to my <laughs> work laptop. I look at it every single day. It relaxes me. It brings me joy. I love it so much. He's got his flippin' blue hair. It's just my favorite photo card. Just hands down, it's my favorite photo card. So my other photo favorite photo cards that actually came out in 2021 are two different ones. This is the Spow Loves Johanny or Spow Loves Honey. Honey. Spow Loves Honey photo card. This is one of the three pack. This is what the back looks like. Um, I just love this photo card so much. It's so freaking cute and handsome. I also, a close runner up is the one where he's in the Ron pajamas. Um, but I really, really, really love this. Also, this photo card, there's two photo cards that were like, I hunted for this year. Like I spent a lot of time and a lot of money, this one more. One was the Urban Decay Juhani photo card. That was a pain in the butt to find, honestly. And then this one. This one, I think I've searched for I, one of those two, but this is my favorite Jungkook card that I have. I have it in an RJ photo card holder because I think I'm cute. And this is what I took with me to the BTS concert. And it is Emo Cowboy Jungkook. <laughs> Like, I had heard people say, like, don't take expensive photo cards to the concert. Like, people will steal them. And I did it anyways. I mean, nothing happened to it, obviously. I still have it. But Emo Cowboy Jungkook is just so freaking cute. And I hunted the internets for this. You can find this. If you just went to eBay right now, you could buy this right now. But you would buy it for $75. I've seen this as high as $150 listed on eBay. So, like, you know because I'm cheap, I had to find like a good deal. And that was what was hard. I had to find a good deal on it. And I did. We're not talking about how much I spent, but it was a good deal. So yeah, those are my K-pop favorites and my beauty favorites for 2021. I hope you had an enjoyable year. I know it was kind of a weird year. Um, I just watched the Jim Gaffigan special on Netflix and he has a lot of really like funny jokes about um, like the extension of the pandemic and everything in 2021. I'm just like kind of thinking about right now, but as the year closes, I'm just like thinking about obviously the new year, new year's resolutions and stuff like that. I kind of do like forms of new year's resolutions, but I really try to do like a theme for the year. Like what is my theme for the year? And I've been kind of like bouncing some ideas around just about like mentally, um, not being hard on myself, not beating myself up about stuff or like running through conversations over and over again in my head, just like that kind of thing. But I think I kind of settled on a really boring one, which is I want to <laughs> save more money in 2022. Um, I'm laughing, but I, it's serious. Uh, I need to focus on it because I spent a lot of money on K-pop this year. Actually didn't spend very much money on beauty products hardly at all past maybe like April or May of this year. Um, 
I think like so I some of my favorite experiences from this year obviously going to the BTS concert I also saw Monster X at Jingle Ball it was really amazing um but yeah being a k-pop fan is very expensive <laughs> So I think I want to like slow down a little bit on my collecting just in general and just like save money in that way um, as like my new year, my new year's theme. Um, yeah. Well, anyways, thanks for watching the video with me today. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you are entering into 2022 with positive thoughts about yourself, about the people around you and about where you see yourself heading and going and growing in the new year. Uh, stay safe, everybody, and stay glamorous, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!